Hi, you know with aging there comes a problem you cannot see up close things but you can see the far away because your eye lens hardens over time and this is called presbyopia. It is like hypermetropia but this happens because of your eye lens with aging. It is the reverse of myopia which is what I have. I can't see the far away so as you all might know you are going to get a glasses when you age or you are going to get an eye surgery for that or variations of these like contact lenses instead of glasses or laser eye surgery instead of lens replacement but there is this eye drop which has pilocarpine which is a chemical that contracts your ciliary muscles and your iris sphincter muscles. I'm going to explain them but what this does is it contracts your pupil so your eye hole gets smaller. This changes your depth of field and you can both see the near and the distance and you don't have to use glasses or further surgery. It is quite an interesting way to deal with this and I kind of like the idea. There are things I don't like but this is pretty genius. The patients in the study used this eye drop twice daily and they were able to read two more lines in the vision chart. Their vision also lasted up to two years without using any further eye drops and they had minimal side effects but there are some side effects that they have to have. Let's quickly go over what happens when you use this eye drop on your eye. Of course you are going to use it on your eye. So this pilocarpine is given with diclofenac which is an anti-inflammatory chemical that reduces the irritation in your eye because the pilocarpine like I said causes your eye muscles to contract. Specifically the ciliary muscle which holds your lens. So ciliary muscle has a reverse effect on your lens. When it contracts it actually releases your lens so your lens becomes bulged more curved and when a lens is curved it focuses more to the near points so when you are reading a book or looking at your screen your ciliary muscles contract and you have a curved lens in your eye and you can focus up close and when you are looking far away your ciliary muscles relax and this pulls on your lens so it is in a less curved shape now you can see the far objects better now because your focus point is very far away this is also the problem with the presbyopia patients with age your eye lens loses its elasticity so so your vision is stuck at far-sighted vision. So that's what our lens do but what our pupils do is different than this. So in our iris we have two muscles. One of them is the inner circle one which is the circular muscle or the sphincter muscle. When it contracts your pupil gets smaller. The outer one is the dilator pupil muscle. When it contracts your pupil gets larger. So pilocarpine actually doesn't affect this last one. It affects your sphincter muscle and your pupil gets smaller. It also affects your ciliary muscles so your lens gets curved. As a result with a curved lens you can focus to the near objects now and this would actually blur your far sight but since your pupils get smaller it is like a camera aperture looking from a smaller hole in the lens with a camera or with your eye your depth of field gets longer what that means is more things is in focus now you can both see the close and the far how that happens well i'm glad you asked because i researched this for six hours think it like this to focus on an object all of the light rays coming out of that object has to merge again at another focus point in your eye when this point falls down to your retina your are able to picture it and see it. When you see something blurred it's because the light rays coming out of that object is not falling perfectly in your retina. They are all over the place so your brain doesn't know how to combine those data. Think it like not knowing where a single pixel is. That pixel falls down to multiple places at the same time you are seeing the same pixel at 20 times so you need the perfect alignment. But it doesn't have to be that much perfect. Some of the light rays coming from the object behind or from the object in front are also close enough that they give you also a good focused vision. In how much of a distance you can see the grouped objects together as clear gives you the depth of field. I'm pretty sure this is not the official definition but this is in practical life what it is. When your pupil is bigger the very far light rays coming to your lens do make a wider merge shape in the focus point and when you have smaller pupils the furthest light rays coming to your pupil is actually coming with a path that is closer together. So when you look at the focus areas at this object where these light rays merge together when the light rays are spreading with a wider angle they are losing the focus sooner so something just right in front of the tree might be out of focus already but when the light rays are coming closer together you can see that they actually fall into that perfect area for a longer time as long as the light rays are coming parallel enough all of those objects will be in your focus in cameras this is the same with a bigger aperture which means a bigger hole you can see a small range of objects but with a smaller aperture this means you have a wider range of objects in your focus your depth of field is bigger so overall why don't we always have smaller pupils? It seems like this was always the solution right? No actually this have lots of side effects. The main reason we have variable pupil size in our eyes is because the light conditions can change. It can get darker, it can get brighter. You have to adapt into the brightness or darkness or you can get too much information or too little information. And another thing is just to be able to focus on things is better. This gives us a way to see where that object is just by looking at it. We can understand its distance 
distance better and we can tell apart objects from each other with just blurring the furthest ones but yeah when you age you are not going to hunt in the wild so i guess you can forget about telling the distant objects part like it would probably confuse you at first but i'm pretty sure some people are just going to prefer not having glasses or surgery but the brightness part is a problem this is also a common side effect in the research study too when you use pidocarpine you are just giving away the control of your muscles you cannot make further adjustments to your eye lens or to your pupil well this does not affect the dilator pupil muscle so you can just make slight adjustments to your pupil still but mostly it is going to stay the same giving away your lens control doesn't matter here because like i said you are going to have a wide range of depth of field you are going to be able to see the near and the far together but yeah not controlling the pupil means when you're going to the darkness you are not going to be able to see that well from now on most people stated that their night vision is worse this supports this claim nearly everyone stated that they have a dimmer vision now which is the main problem we are talking about here you have to get used to that dimmer vision with time they didn't study how dimmer this vision is which is something that i am curious about but when you think about how much our pupils can get smaller and larger if i have to speculate it is about probably 70 percent darker in night vision because at night you have your pupils all the way relaxed to get all the light in so having them at their smallest size it's probably about 70 80 percent darker during the day our pupils at their medium size so probably the day difference is probably around 40 percent like i said i'm speculating here but it is what i would expect from this study most people stated that they had temporarily blurred vision and they had difficulty to adapting to that vision but it is just in the first hour so we don't have to worry about that i guess also your ciliary muscles and your sphincter muscle is always contracted some people stated that they had headaches or felt tension in their eyes this is because of these muscles are contracted at all the time it is like looking at your phone all the time or reading a book all the time after looking at an object for a long time you are using your ciliary muscles to their full potential and this naturally gives you an aching at somewhere in your head this is also some of the problem that why most people have glasses today it is actually better from time to time to look at further objects this way you are not hurting your muscles or your lens your lens needs to move to stay healthy so looking at varying focus points can help but this is just off the topic in this case just having those muscles contracted all the time can give you a headache people also saw halos or glares around the lights they also said they saw their floaters in their eyes more which is just the proteins in your eyes you might see them in the blue sky but you see them better when your pupils are smaller probably because you have a bigger depth of field it is so big that you also see in your eye i'm not actually sure about that but it might be but this does not cause more floaters don't get me the wrong way some people had eye redness or watery eyes but overall what gives me a positive perspective here is no one stopped the treatment everyone liked what they had and the success rate is 99 percent here so it's an eye drop that just gives you a full depth of field of vision in exchange of losing the focus point or the brightness control i'm not sure if i would use this and i'm not a doctor by the way but this is probably better than eye surgery eye surgeries are pretty invasive in these surgeries they cut your cornea then they make the adjustments to your eye and then stitch it back but those corneal nerves take some time to grow back so you might have to use eye drops anyway for a very long time this might vary with your personal experience but you can also have some complications some of them are really bad complications and with all the rage the complication rates go higher so overall i would still put the glasses in the s tier maybe after that using the contact lenses but you have to take care of them too it is pretty common to get infection from contact lenses you have to clear them and change them periodically and use your eye drops but overall glasses and contact lenses are better because you don't lose your eye functionality i think the third option can be this eye drop that contracts your pupils and after that the surgery options this would be my tier list so what a journey this has been one hour and six minutes for me i don't know how long it is going to take for me to cut this so what do you think about this would you use these eye drops would you prefer having surgery or using glasses instead let me know your thoughts in the comments down below i'm wishing everyone a healthy life if you liked the video please subscribe and thank you for listening